Hi, my name is Dr. Josh Cohen. I'm an ophthalmologist in Boca Raton, Florida. And I want to introduce you guys to the MRQ SLT. This is a combined YAG SLT system that we've had the privilege of using for about six months now in our practice. And I want to kind of walk you through the kind of setup and how to kind of adjust your settings because it's very intuitive, but you know, it never hurts to kind of have a little tutorial. So the first thing is obviously you plug everything in. And this main button here will turn on the laser and the scope all in one. You'll see the system powering up. This LED light here will just enable the slit lamp function. So if you were to bring patients in, again, you've got a really high quality slit lamp built into this guy. So if you just want to use it as an additional lane, you could just press the yellow button and the slit lamp will turn on without the laser system. But this is basically your welcome screen and obviously the you know mechanical function of the slit lamp and the laser operates just as pretty much all of them do. You have your, your main LED light here which you know can go uh, up or down, obviously, in terms of brightness. You have your normal wide beam and slit beam, plus you have your angling function. I have the coaxial alignment here, so I can align it directly at 180 and it works just fine. Um, but if you don't have that function, then you, know, you will have a mirror that will serve as the prism, so you'll have to kind of move it off axis so you can get that alignment and throughput. If you're using it as a slit beam and you wanted to kind of adjust the you know, brightness or color, this is kind of how you would do that. If you wanted to even use kind of a blue light or cobalt filter, you can do a warmer tone or your strict white, whatever you'd like to do, it has it all. Um, and it, it functions, as I mentioned, really, really well as a slit lamp. Now, in terms of the aiming beam, kind of hard to see here, but this going up or down will adjust the kind of brightness of the slit beam. Other than that, so we'll just kind of uh, revisit the slit lamp in just a moment, using the laser settings is navigated with these two main menu options. So first, if you go to YAG, you just simply do a press there and then a check to confirm. If you were in the wrong setting, you just press that again and then you'll kind of go back to your main element, you know, your main menu here. So let's say we go back into YAG. I'm confirming this is your main setup. That's the number of pulses. That's the focus, which is default to 100 microns offset posterior. But you can change that if you want to do directly on axis. You kind of hold down for a few seconds. And then you've got basically your anterior focus. If you want to move it in front, like if we're doing an anterior capsule uh, treatment, uh, zero focus, like if you're doing, you know, like a PI or something, um, and then your posterior focus depending. Now, what's nice about this is if, you know, wanted to do kind of a, you know, um, you know, there, there's some newer techniques where you go a little bit more posterior to have a larger blast radius if you want to do fewer spots. So you could set a, a farther offset 200 or 300 microns if you wanted to, but I keep mine at 100 as a default. Um, and again, the number of beams or pulses is represented by this number here. If I hold that down for just a few seconds, I'll double it up and you can even triple it up if I wanted to. Again, for PI, it's very, very helpful. Of course, that'll triple the amount of energy. And then you use this main energy uh, reset here. So I can move up or down on the millijoules. And again, one of the nice things about the MRQ is that I really can get good treatment results um, with, with fine focus at lower energy. So I feel like that the energy delivery is very efficient for this machine. So that's really about it for the YAG setting. Um, it's, again, an excellent machine for YAG. SLT is also equally intuitive. So holding that down, uh, I will enable the SLT. You can hear it here change into SLT mode. It only takes about five to 10 seconds for it to switch. So it's really not bad at all. And then I like this layout. I think it's very intuitive. Uh, basically, this is kind of where I would like to enable my treatments. So again, let's say that our standard, you know, one millijoule might be where you start. Um, but let's say that I, I want to do a superior 180 and I want to do 50 spots. So how do I do that? Well, the first thing is you go down here. And again, a couple seconds of a hard press will enable this sub menu. And let's say that, you know, with my gonio, I'm starting, let's say I'm starting at zero. So I would maybe start here. And by pressing each of these little sections, I can tell the computer where I'm starting from. Now it doesn't track it in real time. Um, in other words, it will track it, but it won't know for sure if you are staying exactly within those clock hours. So basically what will happen is as I'm firing, the yellow beam will continue to kind of move across 
um, but it won't track in real time. It will just assume that you are doing what you claim to be doing. But I'll demonstrate that in just a second. So my treatment area is 180 degrees, so I will select that here at 180. And now that's highlighted. If I was doing a full 360 treatment, I would simply do that. But normally I'll do 180. And because I'm starting here, I want a counterclockwise orientation, so I will select that. Now the laser system will know that every subsequent click is gonna move this yellow box farther and farther along in a counterclockwise direction. If I go clockwise, then the yellow is gonna go down here. So it's really nice because if I'm in, if I'm in the middle of a treatment and the technician might, you know, be doing something else for a moment and I want a quick glance as, as to where I am in the treatment, basically it will count based on the number of pulses where I am. So if I select a full circle as 100 pulses, the computer will know that at 50 pulses, I will get 100, 180 degrees away from that spot. So it'll tell me exactly where I am without needing anyone else in the room. If I'm comfortable with that, I will basically click that check and I'm back where I need to go. But let's say I go back in and be like, oh, you know what? This patient already had a superior treatment. I want to do an inferior treatment. No problem. I just go back and reset. And I go 180. Now, if I want to do an inferior treatment, let's say I'm starting on this side. And now let's say that, again, I want to go in this direction, either the pattern clockwise, or if I want to do an inferior treatment, I can start on this and I can do a clockwise treatment and then it'll know where I am. And the 100 to 200 will tell the system how much to tick down with every click. So again, 100 says that for 360 degrees, that's a full 100 pulses. So if I'm doing a 50 pulse 180 treatment, this will take me exactly to the other side at 50. The computer will even chime when that happens, so I'll know that I've reached 50. But it's really a great intuitive system to let you know kind of in real time where you are in the treatment. So I will confirm that and I'm ready to go. And again, I can still even after the fact, I can adjust it. Now notice that it's green in standby mode. This means that if I press this button, nothing will happen. In order for me to engage the laser, I have to hold this down for three seconds. One, two, three. And then the computer will actually tell the system to fire up. And now the laser apparatus is engaged and I'm ready to go. And then again, I'll just adjust my final treatment and I'm good to go. And basically, if I were to fire this, I would see it start starting to tick away on this, um, on this pulse. And, um, I will do a demo video with the patient so you guys can see what that's like. But that's a quick overview again of the MRQ SLT YAG system combo. Um, and it's just a fantastic unit, very intuitive to use, really high quality laser system, great optics, coax illumination, work really well. So I hope that helps. See you in the next one.